Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to day two of Vlogmas. I will have my Vlogmas 2019 playlist linked down below in case you miss any of the videos and want to watch them in order. So in today's video, I am sharing with you a holiday gift guide for home cooks. And this was something that I started thinking about way back in November when I was planning out my content for Vlogmas. And I thought, you know, I really wanna do a gift guide, but what am I really qualified to talk about? Kitchen gadgets. <laughs> That's really all I'm qualified to talk about. I don't really get much into the beauty scene or you know, any of those other gift guides that people put out. And so this is my area of expertise and this is what I'm sharing with you today. So most of these gifts are $50 or less. There is one thing in this video that's a little bit more expensive, um, but most of them you can uh, give for $50 or less. So let me get into it. I hope that you enjoy this video. Anything that I mention, I'll have links to in the description box below. Okay, so the first gift idea that I'm going to share with you is some cookbooks. So if you're anything like me, you love reading cookbooks. And I mean, like, I will sit on the couch <laughs> and read them just like I do a regular book. Um, I just love having an arsenal of cookbooks that I can reference. I know that in this day and age, there's so much that we can access online, but I just think that there's uh, nothing like an awesome cookbook. So uh, I love buying cookbooks for people who um, are home cooks in my life. So like my sister, I've bought her many cookbooks through the years and it's always well received. I also always ask for cookbooks when people ask for my Christmas list. So I'm just gonna share with you some of these that are my favorites and I, that I think are really great for gift giving this year. The first one is the newest Rachel Ray cookbook. I've been a fan of Rachel Ray ever since the original 30 Minute Meals on Food Network. I used to watch it when I was in college just all the time. Um, but this cookbook of hers is sort of unique because it's written, um, not only does it have recipes in it, but it also has essays that she's written also. Um, and like, even when you open up the front here, it has like some of her handwritten um, notes and recipes. And so this is so fun to read through. You can see here that she has um, you know, sort of like a foreword, like an essay before each chapter. And there's obviously a lot of recipes, very well done, lots of pictures. One thing that I look for in a cookbook is that it has a lot of pictures uh, because that's just something that's important to me. So I would definitely recommend this one. This is the new uh, Pioneer Woman, the new Frontier cookbook that she came out with this year. So I have many Pioneer Woman cookbooks and the thing I love about hers are that she photographs all of the uh, recipes like step by step. So especially for people who are maybe just learning how to cook, um, that's great because you can sort of see step by step what everything is supposed to look like. The great thing about this cookbook also is that there are some low carb recipes in here. If you are someone who is watching your carbs or if you're buying for someone who is watching their carbs, I was gonna see if I could find the key um yeah so she has uh low lower carb recipes make ahead recipes quick and easy freeze as well indulgent great for guests and family friendly so i haven't cooked anything out of this cookbook yet because i just got it a few weeks ago but there are several things in here uh, that i definitely want to try this is another cookbook that I bought, I think it was last year actually. Uh, this is Jessica Merchant. She actually has a food blog, How Sweet Eats. Um, I have been following her blog for years and this is her second cookbook. I love this. I just think it's so well done. She takes all of her own photos. Um, I've tried a lot of her recipes and they are delicious. So this is one that I would also recommend. I just think it's so pretty. I love looking at food photography and everything. It's, it's just awesome. Uh, okay, so this is also one of my favorite cookbooks and I think this would be a really great gift for someone, uh, either an experienced cook or someone who is starting to build their home library of cookbooks. This is the uh, Cook's Illustrated Revolutionary Recipes and I actually took the dust jacket off this so <laughs> I, I, I frequently do that when I buy cookbooks. I just take the dust jacket off and throw it away. Um, but if you're familiar with Cook's Illustrated magazine, this, uh, you know, the same writers, but basically these are just really 
fundamental dishes like roast chicken, fried chicken. Um, there's a cherry pie recipe in here that I'm going to be making this holiday season. So I, I, again, I think that all of their cookbooks are really well done, but I really like this one because it's huge. Um, it's a great resource. It has really great basic recipes in it. So if you're looking for something, um, you just, you know that this is a brand of cookbook that you can definitely trust. Okay, and then last but not least are the Skinny Taste cookbooks. So this is Gina Homolka, and she also has a, um, a blog, but she also has many recipes, and I know I've talked about her cookbooks here on my channel before, but I think these also make great gifts. They, you know, her, her name obviously is Skinny Taste, and so a lot of the recipes are more figure friendly, but they don't taste like it. Um, I have never had a recipe of hers turn out badly. You can see actually that this is probably my favorite cookbook of hers, the Skinny Taste Fast and Slow. I would buy this in a heartbeat for anyone. I love it that it has both slow cooker recipes and quick recipes. And then this is just her regular original cookbook. So um, I can recommend all of these. Um, I obviously use them and love them and uh, they make great gifts. Okay, so the next gift idea that I'm showing you is this Seville Classics cutting board. I first learned of this on uh, Tiffany Beeston's channel, and I love watching her videos. I've watched her for a very long time, but she has this cutting board, and she says that she always gets a lot of questions about it. Um, and so I went ahead and ordered one. They are available on Amazon. They are around $30, so it's a great price point for a gift. And the reason why I think this is really unique is that not only is it a bamboo cutting board, but it comes with all of these different color inserts. So the idea is that your cutting board, um, you know, stays down here and then you have all of these different colored inserts to cut different types of food. So let me just pull it out and I'll show you. There's a bunch of different colors of these uh, plastic inserts. And so then you would just take out the one that you want, like this one is for chicken, interchange it, and then you could just, you know, wash that separately. So I think this is a really awesome product. Um, the, the reason I also like it as well is that it has these rubber feet on the bottom, so it does not slip around when you cut on it. One of my biggest complaints um, with cutting boards is when they slip around, and I know you can put like a damp towel underneath and everything, but I just feel like this is really well made, um, and it's a really good price point for a gift. So I will be gifting this uh, cutting board this year to a home cook in my life. Next, I am sharing a gift idea for maybe someone that you know likes wine, but also I think this is great if you have to buy a gift for someone who you don't know very well, like maybe someone new in your family or your boss or a coworker or something like that. And the great part is, is that this will be very well received and you can put it together for around 30 to $35. I have some extra options here just to show you. Um, but first are these stemless wine glasses. So I use these here at home myself. I love them. This four pack is available on Amazon for only $15, which is a great value. I personally really like stemless wine glasses because not only can you use them for wine, but we also use them for cocktails and sometimes the kids use them for juice. They're just so much more sturdy than, you know, a wine glass with a stem is. So along with the wine glasses, I would also include a bottle or two of wine depending on what your budget is. So I just have a few different options here to share with you. I am not a wine expert, but I do um, drink it enough that I feel like I know sort of what I like now and can explain um, to you all. So this is a Moscato d'Asti and this is a very sweet wine. So if you have folks in your life that you're not quite sure what they like or you know that they don't like really dry wine, this is a great option. This bottle was around $12. Uh, this is a McMurray Pinot Noir. I've had this before. Um, I love it. I am not a huge red wine drinker, but this is not super dry. I don't really like sweet wine. Um, but this is just, I don't want to say it's sweet because it's not sweet, but it's not super dry and it's very easy drinking uh, red wine. This is a Sauvignon Blanc. 
Um, all of these bottles of wine are under $15, by the way, $15 or under. Uh, this is a Justin Sauvignon Blanc. It's a 2015. I got this at hy V. If I am drinking, you know, regular plain white wine, I will always choose Sauvignon Blanc. I think that it is not uh, super dry, but it's easy drinking and it's not very sweet. And then this is my favorite brand of Prosecco. This is the La Marca Prosecco. So you can drink this just like you would regular wine. It's just like a sparkling white wine. It's a little bit dry, or you can also make mimosas with it. So just some choices there, uh, you know, $15 for the wine glasses, $15 for a bottle of wine. And then if I were making this basket up or box up, what I would do is include some little snacky things too. So a few options here are these Asiago and Cheddar Cheese Crisps. I got these at Aldi, so they're very affordable. Um, something like this is a really great snack, obviously, to have when you're drinking wine. And then I also found these uh, Focaccia Townhouse Crackers. I got these at the grocery store, and they're in the Tuscan cheese flavor. So both of these are, you know, around 2 or $3. And then I would probably also include some chocolate. So this is uh, pretzel and milk chocolate, which I thought was really delicious, or sounded really delicious. And then this is a triple berry dark chocolate with mixed berries. So um, just another gift idea. I think that putting together something like this is super thoughtful. It's not very expensive, and it will definitely be well received for someone who likes uh, drinking wine and eating snacks. So do you guys also have men in your life that you're not sure <laughs> what to get them? Um, Adam and I always joke about like buying for my stepdad and his dad. That's just so hard to buy for men. And I feel like especially when they start to get older, um, you know, they have everything. And so it's, it's hard for me anyway um, to find things that aren't gift cards. So this is a great idea, not only for the men in your life, but anyone really obviously man or woman who likes to cook um, you guys know i've talked about this company before fresh jacks they are out of florida and they sell awesome spices that are all organic this is their um, one of their gift sets they have those available on their website for thirty dollars uh, this one is the grilling gift set so it comes with peppered habanero hot grill spice i have not tried this one yet it comes with fresh bay this is really delicious on seafood. So I have put this on grilled fish and grilled shrimp before. It's delicious. This is a Grill Master burger seasoning, and this is also really good. This um, I've used this on steaks and burgers and pork chops. The Smoky Southwest is really good on chicken and salmon. And then I love this citrus pepper seasoning. I use this on salmon all the time. So you get five spices for $30. You could definitely just get this as a gift. I think that is a great option. Um, but if you want to include something a little bit extra, these are the Blackstone um, spatulas and they're meant to go with like a flat top grill. Um, my husband has one of these Blackstone flat top grills, but I think these make a great gift for um, just the regular grill as well. They're nice and sturdy spatulas. So if you wanted to, you know, grab these two things for a gift, it would be around $45, which I think is a really great um, price point. But yes, I, um, I'll have the link for Fresh Jacks down below for their site. They offer super fast shipping. Guys, when they sent this to me, it was already gift wrapped. I'll insert some footage right here, but it was, <laughs> it was already gift wrapped, which is awesome. Of course, I had to unwrap it to film it, um, but they are just such a thoughtful company. They always give you like a personal note in your box. They're so nice to work with. I just love them. So um, yes, definitely think about something like this for the griller in your life. So the next gift idea is sort of a mishmash of things and feel free to take any of these and mix and match them as your budget allows. But one thing that I, I like to get for people is kitchen towels. And I know it sounds a little odd, but this is something that I really would like to get my, myself. Um, I feel like especially once you've been married for about 10 or 15 years, you maybe still have all of the towels that you got when you first got married and it's always nice to replace those. So this is a set of three, uh, or I'm sorry, four, actually four kitchen towels. Uh, these are available on Amazon. They are around $15. So very affordable. They have a really pretty lemon pattern. So there's one with lemons. There's also a yellow, 
uh, striped on white. There's also like a yellow plaid on white and then this white and yellow stripe. I just think these are very pretty. Um, they're really good quality and I would be really stoked to get these as would anyone else who <laughs> likes to cook. Uh, next are these OXO Good Grips um, measuring cups. So I get a lot of questions in my videos about the Pampered Chef brand that I have of these. And I know it's sometimes hard to buy Pampered Chef items because you have to go through a consultant. But these are available on Amazon and um, I'm, don't quote me on the price. I think when I bought these, this one was around $10 and this one was a little less than $10. Um, this is a four tablespoon measuring cup, which is really great when you're making stuff like um, you know, vinaigrettes or dressings because a lot of times it'll call for like three or four tablespoons and it's so much easier to measure in this than it is in a measuring spoon. The nice thing about these two is that you can see the measurement just looking down on it. You don't have to look through the side of the cup. And then this is the one cup uh, measuring device. So I would totally get these for anyone. In fact, I ordered them for <laughs> someone in my life for this Christmas. So this is also another item that I wanted to share with you guys. So this is something that I personally own, but I would love to give it as a gift as well. This is a Cuisinart two quart saucepan. So it's my favorite saucepan, honestly. It's very good quality. It has a heavy bottom. You can put it in the dishwasher. It is very well made and sturdy. Uh, right now, this is only about $25 on Amazon, which I think is a really good deal for a quality saucepan. Um, so, you know, any of these items in combination, I feel like you could get, you get all of these things for around $50. Um, really, and I think it would be a great gift. Or maybe if you just did, you know, the sauce pot, and the towels um, it would be around 40 if you did the sauce or the towels and the measuring cups um, it would probably be around 30 so definitely a great idea for home cooks all of these are great items and i love using them myself okay so the last gift idea that i'm going to share with you guys is this knife set so this is the most pricey of the options that i'm sharing with today i tried obviously for the other gifts to be really um you know cost conscious and choose things that were less than fifty dollars but i did want to share these knives so you guys know in my videos before i have talked about my uh zwilling ja henkel's chef knife which is a good quality chef's knife but is also 150 dollars. however this whole knife set by xylus is also 150 dollars, and so for the price of this you can get all these knives and you can also buy some of these knives separately. So um, I did order this on Amazon. Uh, like I said, this it's $150 for this whole set. However, if you wanted to gift some of these knives, you can find them separately and I'll link them down below as well as this large set. But I think that these are great quality knives. Now I will say one of the reasons <laughs> why your knives will dull is putting them in the dishwasher. So I told Adam once I ordered this set, I said, I'm not gonna put these in the dishwasher at all because I don't want them to dull. Um, but it comes with a lot of different options and it actually has some extra holes in here. If you already own knives, it comes with um, shears, it comes with like these smaller, uh, how do you call that, Santoku knives, it comes with a chef's knife. Um, it comes with like a boning knife. It comes with six steak knives. So I think this is a great option, not only if you're looking for knives for yourself, but also to gift. Um, the great thing too, like I said, is there's extra holes in here. So I can actually put the knives I already own um, into those slots. But yes, um, I'll find some different options for you guys and link them down below. I have been super happy with these and you guys know I am a diehard <laughs> Uh, Jay Henkel's uh, chef's knife person, um, but we've also been enjoying the steak knives in this set as well. All right, so that is it for my 2019 holiday gift guide for home cooks. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you're planning on ordering any of these things for the people in your life for Christmas or for yourself, I would love to hear about it in the description box below. And if you have any gift ideas that I didn't mention, uh, please also put them in your comments so we can all read them and get more ideas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for day three.